Hi everyone, welcome to Max 8 tutorial number 6. Basic Max 8. A TRUE versus MESSAGES. Um, for those in my class or who are following along with these videos sequentially, you will recognize this as the timer we made in the last video. <clears throat> and we went through a lot of trouble to learn how to use messages to change the parameters of objects. And so you can see that this message box here is now red with a nice kind of uh, whitish gray letters in it, etc., etc. And that's all controlled up at the top here. I'm just going to lock my patcher. Here it says 10 seconds. We click this and we can go to 30 seconds. We not only get it saying 30 seconds down here, but our preset has shifted to number two and we get yellow and with green letters etc and that goes down perfect cup of tea um, with nice uh, green background and blue blue letters what the heck's going on here there's a missing oh i see it ha a mistake uh I must have moved it. This is supposed to be here. There we go. Now we'll get the right ones, I think. Lock my patcher again. Oh, I can't believe it. There we go. Yellow uh, letters with a green background and uh, blue with pink background, etc., etc. So I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk about an object that can actually do this for you, but it has its limitations. It's called the attribute object. I'm just going to unlock my patcher, type the letter N, and type A T T R U I. Yes, a truey or the attribute object. Now, as soon as you create it, it says nothing. But when you connect it to something, then you'll see what it does is it reads all the attributes. Essentially, this reads all the attributes that are in the inspector for an object. So if I connect it to the um, to this message here, let's pull this down underneath so we can see what's going on here, um, and just uh, lock the patcher here. Now when we click on this, we can get all of these attributes of the message box. So if we click on, for example, background color, you'll notice it says background fill color. You might remember that's what we had to prepend our message, background fill color, to get the color blue to be prepended by background fill color and it comes down here and it makes the message blue. This is telling you it's blue. Well, if you wanted to just use this, if you wanted to adjust all the colors of objects in your patcher, then you can just click here and you can change the color to, well, anything you want. Let's say you wanted to change it to purple. Okay, let's look back here. Background color is now this uh, magenta color as it is down here. And what about this? This is what it used to be because there's no feedback telling it that it should change. A truey is one of those weird objects that it gets feedback. So if you were making a patcher and you just wanted to adjust everything, every single one thing to a color, the a truey object might be for you. However, it has some limitations as we will see here. Um, one of the things that it just is terrible at is it can't be run by the preset. So no matter what you try to do, you know, to set it to a preset, you say, oh, well, uh, I'm going to give it its own message here so it doesn't um, cross talk with this. Um, we'll just move uh, option click on this and make another one, and then we'll connect this over here because we don't want them fighting, because then it won't be telling you what this one's really doing. Okay, 
So just to make sure again that we understand this, if I click on, say for example, text color, I can now turn the text color. I get a color wheel here and I can turn the text color to dark blue or whatever I want. So let's say I wanted to save that as a pre as a preset. Um, I've connected my Atrui object to the preset, but I will tell you that no matter how you try to do it, let's say that's setting 4, and uh, we shift click on it. It's not even letting me shift click on it because it's saying, you know what, nothing's changed. I don't know why I should shift click. Um, well, and just uh, trust me, it doesn't work. And if you connect this to, oops, directly to the message, it won't um, remember the color of the message. So here we are in four. Let's just say we save that. Oops, forgot to lock my patcher. Lock your patcher. Shift, click, four. It won't let you do it because um, nothing's changed. So we'll change the background color again to yellow and try to change that on number three. Again, it's not really letting us do it. And if we go back and forth between three and four, no surprise, it doesn't work. Preset needs something to sort of store the changes. It needs kind of something to move. So it can remember where these things are um, here, and it's you can see it moves them around very nicely when you scroll through them. Likewise, the, the uh, U menu can remember, um, well, it could, it's not connected to the, to the presets because it's actually driving the presets, but the U menu could also remember, uh, could, could be set to a preset. Many things can, but the, but just a message with its state, mm, no, can't really be set to a preset. Okay. So a TRUI does not work with presets. It also has some issues, for example, if you were to connect, like in this case we have um, this text color telling this number over here that it wants a certain text color and also telling a message that it wants a certain text color, right? Um, if you connect um, here, we'll do it with this one over here. Here's a number for it. If we connect the Atrui object to two objects, you can see it. it's unhappy now. It's, it's like, oh no, I, I can't do that. I can't do it. And I'm going to lock the patcher and see maybe there's something it can do. Well, it has text color. So it can actually make the text color of these two things the same, let's say green. So it can, it can, or uh, let's make it white. So uh, nothing's good. There we go, red. So you can see the, <clears throat> the red down here and the red up here. But what will happen immediately with the attribute is that it will only show the attributes that both of these have in common. So there's no uh, changing, like look, this ends at text color right now. If I unlock my patcher and delete the cord in between these two. Now when I relock my patcher you'll see not only is there text color, there's triangle color, triangle scale factor, visible to mapping. These are all the attributes for a number box, right? And if we, again I'm unlocking my patcher, connect it to more than one object, it only shows the attributes that it has in common that both of those objects have. So you can use it, again, if you just wanted to change the text color on everything in a patcher, but it um, you can't run it with a preset and it's, it, you know, it limits what you can do. Um, you can, um, send information to an attribute object, um, but you could also send that it, it's just as easy, as easy to send that information directly to an object. So anyway, that's the, the basic, um, 
arguments for and against the attribute object. Let's just put another um, object in here, uh, a common object, let's say a slider. Type the letter N slider. I just wanted to show you this. So this is a slider. Um, there we go. We'll make it into a horizontal slider. And I'll connect it and lock my patcher again. So a slider is a is a user interface that does this. It's more or less like a, a volume slot, a slider or a, a fader. Okay. So now we'll click on here and we'll see that there's even fewer um, things that it has in common. And actually, um, none of them change the color of anything. So you could say uh, uh, include in presentation. That's something that is common to almost all objects. Um, you could tell it where it is. Nothing. There's almost nothing that you can affect here, um, and you can't click on it anymore because they have no um, attributes in common as far as color goes. So I just thought I'd uh, yeah I just thought I'd show you the old attribute object. Great for some things. Mm, you know if you're going for one. Um, color for your for your uh, patcher perfectly useful and it sets up that color and those colors will be saved and then you could delete it later but if you want something that's like presets um, the Atrui object is not the way to go um, so that's it Atrui versus messages well they each win in their own corner so that's it for today's uh, tutorial and I will catch you in the very next tutorial. Patch well and thank you for watching.